All right, so I decided, you know, if I'm gonna do one with fractions, let's just do one with decimals, all right? So it's gonna be very basic. I'm gonna kind of run through this. Uh, distributive property, we know that 2.2 is being multiplied by 3t, and 2.2 is being multiplied by negative 4p. So we're going I know I have a decimal here, but we're just gonna treat it just like an integer. Multiply 2.2 times three. If you can't do it in your head, you can do it on a sheet of paper. I don't know what that means. 2.2 times three. Multiply over six, keep the decimal point, six. So you can do 6.6, .6, or you could also plug it in your calculator if you are in absolute need. But it is going to be very crucial that you can make sure that you um, can multiply basic decimals, multiply basic fraction, and obviously multiply, multiply basic integers um, really quickly. Here, um, I'm gonna do this one actually in my head. You can check it with the calculator or on a piece of paper but um, I know it's gonna be a positive 2.2 .2 times a negative 4.p. That's gonna produce me a negative answer, a positive times a negative, and 2.2 .2 times four is going to give me a negative 8.8p. So I know these are two different variables, but it's the same thing. You're just multiplying. When you multiply your number, multiply, you know, you can only multiply your number times the coefficient of uh, each term, and there you go, I can't combine these. Whoa, sorry, and we're done, there's my thumbs up to say, good job.